I'm Maya. I'm Jack. Our family's used the van for more than 10 nights now. So we're going to show you some tweaks and modifications we made to the original build video. In our first video, Maya and I demonstrated how we built the van and we also included the SketchUp files it, um, so you can download those and see our measurements at jackbikes.org along with budget details. We've taken the van on several trips with my spouse and my dog. The dog hasn't always enjoyed every moment, but we've had a good time. We've made some delicious meals and also enjoyed a number of beautiful camping views. We keep the solar panel outside of the van to top up the battery and use a 30-foot extension cord which we had to connect by cutting away a bit of the plastic and then wrapping that in electrical tape. When we connect this to the Jackery on a really bright sunny day, we'll pull in um, you know, some 60 watts of power, which is great because the refrigerator requires very little power. We've been finding we can get two full days of juice just for the um, small refrigerator, running that in econ mode at maybe 41, 42 degrees. And it certainly holds plenty of stuff for the two of us for a a weekend camping trip. We removed the console between the two front seats and put the refrigerator in, which means we had to build our own armrests. Those are cylindrical pillows with some Velcro underneath attached to the top of the refrigerator, and there's me sewing the Velcro into place with a thimble. We also took the cup holder from the console and just screwed it down in front of the refrigerator to give us more cup space. For the cabinets, we had to make sure the doors didn't fly off when we did sudden acceleration. So I added up four magnets in total. One, two, three, four, to keep those attached, and that seems to be working well. I also bought these plastic containers to hold all of our small kitchen items. And these are great. Most of what we need are just in these two plastic containers, and we take those out and put them on a picnic table. And also, this butane stove has really been a, a really a, a remarkable thing. Here's what it looks like if you haven't used one before. And I'm filming most of this with just one hand. Um, I'd rather not use disposable butane containers, but other th but the even the small propane tanks, those aren't um, um, uh, refillable either. So these butane uh, cans, I want you to connect them in here and put down the switch to lock them in place. They pop right on, it's very safe, and make some tea real quick for my sweetie pie. Our ventilation solution was to insert window screens, which Shen Ye's YouTube videos have explained nicely. And these are gutter guard with a little bit of screen material and some Gorilla Tape around them. I have a narrow one and a wide one, and the wide one is to sort of get more air in if I feel I need that. We've camped on both cold nights and some warm nights, but not really hot nights so far. Um, the six inch variable speed USB rechargeable battery fan with wraparound legs has been great to move air around on the inside. We also decided to buy pre-cut um, heat shields made specifically for our van rather than making our own. This seemed to be um, just a better way for us to do it for not too much money. There's a black side and a gold side, and you can um, uh, use it for privacy or to keep heat out during the day, a little bit of insulation at night. These come with some suction cups, but we don't really end up using them. We store all of our window screens and most of the um, heat shields underneath the bed when we aren't using those. The largest heat shield for the front window goes rolled up behind the driver's seat. And also here, remember, these are the rollers for the chairs, the seats we've removed, and those are still there. It's just that we put um, the floor mats and some carpeting on top of that. Also up front, we since it's a 2016 Toyota van, we ended up uh, spending a couple hundred dollars to install a new um, device so that we can uh, see the map and have a large volume button on the front. Now, we also attached... Um, a big uh, a Thule bike rack on the outside, and that holds our tandem nicely. And this is what we use it for, uh, taking bicycle trips or weekends like that. Um, some people have difficulty removing the bike with the built-in straps, but once we learned the trick, it's been pretty easy. Just push it down with your thumb to slide those strap holders in or out. We also throw on some bungee cords to keep it in place. 
and you can also tilt this model back. I'm going to do this all with one hand, so it's a little jiggly here, but that allows you to tilt that back and open up the back hatch. Finally, we added a name for our van with a sticker. We call it Van Gogh. Learn more at jackbikes.org for all of our minivan camper details and downloads.